I can't believe you fired Sal! Of course I did, you conniving banshee! I can't have my food prepared by a ten-stone cockroach! Ugh. We're, We're closed. closed! You better tell them that! Who knows what horrible truths lurk behind the tinted windows of our neighbors' souls? Our intrepid heroes certainly don't. They're just relieved to find a safe harbor from the half-naked horde that has pursued them since their stirring defeat of the mad pharaoh Samunmak. But soon, you and the freelance police will be forced to throw open the creaking shutters and clumsily draw back the moldy curtains to reveal the awful secrets that lie beyond the Alley of the Dolls. So, after I put Max's brain back in his body, we were suddenly beset by scads of brain-dead Samulacra. I prefer doggle-gangers! We thought all they wanted was that spooky toy box, but after they yanked it away, they turned their attention on us. <laughs> Actually, I think they were mostly interested in me. No? 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 We ran for the DeSoto, but it had been surrounded by a gang of Mies. So naturally, you came here. Well, better to stock up on canned foods and ammo for the upcoming Zombie Sam Armageddon. I don't think they're zombies, Max. Zombies, clones, robots, who cares? Just as long as I get the shakes! Looks like it's time to boil the haggis. Tell me you've got a way out of here, Sam! Stinky! Oh good, it's the Harbinger of Doom! I see that you and Grandpa Stinky have reached the plate-throwing phase of your relationship. Oh, that! <laughs> that was nothing! Grandpa just fired myself, uh, Chef, without consulting me first. I was slightly annoyed. It wouldn't be. But you know what they say, there's nothing like being attacked by an army of portly abominations to give you a sense of perspective. Do people really say that? Why did Grandpa fire Sal anyway? That's a private matter between me and Grandpa, for the moment. What do you think the deal is with all these dangerously handsome Samuel Acker? Doggle gangers. Hmm, 
I'd guess clones. Really? Or maybe parallel universe commandos, or pastry golems, or maybe I don't really care since it's not really my job to figure this kind of thing out. I'm sorry I broke your boyfriend. Boyfriend? What boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend. You know, General Skunk Ape. You two seem to be getting along pretty well before Max and I kicked him into the penal zone. Skun Kabe? He's not my boyfriend. I mean, just look at him. I got a wacky idea. Why don't you help us fight off the Sams? Your personality alone could probably take out a dozen of them in one blow. For your information, I'm trying to text the authorities for some help. Right. Any luck texting the authorities? None yet, but I'll be sure to let you know if I make a breakthrough. You do that. Well, I can see you're busy. I'll just get back to saving our lives. Hey, good luck with that. Grandpa Stinky? Do you mind? You're spoiling my aim. We couldn't help but notice that Girl Stinky started flinging plates at your head. What did she think I was going to do when I discovered that she'd hired a giant cockroach to run my beautiful kitchen? Well, your tolerance for cockroaches is well known, so I'm sure she probably thought... Tiny cockroaches! As customers, not six and a half foot tall monstrosities lumbering about my kitchen, dipping their mandibles in the mayonnaise, and spreading their disease on my crudités. Crudités? Where? And what are those? Mark my words. Ken or no Ken, that woman's up to no good. Need any help? Nah. I've been dreaming about this day for years. Oh, right in the moose. What do you think this unprecedented wave of me is all about? Who cares? I haven't had this much fun in years. I'll just get back to finding a way out of this mess. Take your time. I'm having a ball. Hey, Donkey Wong. Wanna pitch in and help us repel the hordes? No, no, no. <laughs> what happened to General Skunkape? Sam happened! According to Max, I beat the bananas out of him in an alternate reality, which has left him a humiliated husk of a man, or ape. Don't hurt me. Of course, being chased by hundreds of half-dressed versions of the new alpha male in town can't be helping either. Skunk Ape? Queen? Please tell that broken monkey that I'm no one's queen. No one's queen, yes. <laughs> no. Oh, Uber bird! Skunk ape. No, no. Well, he's useless. Individually wrapped balls of peanut butter? Aye. Ever since Mrs. Dulagi went up like a pufferfish, my namby-pamby malpractice attorneys have forced me to dole out my peanut butter in strictly controlled portions. I didn't even know diners could have malpractice attorneys. Back, ye infernal beastie! Good idea! Maybe we can turn this horrific siege into some sort of half-assed, rhythm-based minigame! We repeat, half-naked, portly dog-like creatures are running amok. Details at this time remain sketchy, but we have numerous reports that the Zoftig canines are breaking into people's houses and stealing their children's toys. Well, that'll put some kids in therapy, right, Chet? No! Whoa, he's off, big fella. I'm pretty upset about the Zoftig crack, too, but that's no reason to go ape. Smooth, Sam. Infernal City stripped me of my power and my dignity, but I'll be a Polarian baboots before I let them have the last of my toys! Hey, the monkey's gonna do a card trick! I don't think so, Max. Those look like the mind-reading cards we saw in that chilling vision of the future that never happened. Oh, yeah! Jimmy! Give them to you? Hardly. 
with these cards. I will escape this gorilla forsaken rock, blast it from orbit, and then move on toys. to conquer the rest of the entire galaxy. Toys, toys, no, toys. No. No. Wow, that was horrible. Maybe we should have done something. Ah, he'll be okay. Now let's start reading some minds so we can get out of this mess. Fudgy Freeze, the greatest combination of ice cream, fudge, and carob balls this side of the Mississippi. Must resist fudge. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Sam? Sorry, Max. You know how I get whenever I get a Fudgy Freeze in my hand. Looking, I'll ditch these losers through my secret tunnel. Stinky has a secret tunnel? <laughs> when did that happen? Don't you remember, Max? The secret tunnel under that table over there. Oh, yeah. Now, where's that button? It's the button that opens the secret tunnel into the sewers. Let's talk more pressy, Sam. I've just about run out of amusing ways to shoot you in the face. Open hickory. Hey, Stinkies! What happened to your secret tunnel? Secret tunnel? I have no idea what you're talking about. Wilfred and Brimley aren't looking. I'll escape through my backup tunnel. A backup tunnel? Ingenious. Really? I was gonna go with paranoid or maybe silly. Stinky? What? Okay, Stinky. Where's your backup secret tunnel? What? You heard me. The backup tunnel. I don't know anything about a backup tunnel. Come on, Stinky. Tell us where your backup tunnel is before Max runs out of bullets. I never run out of bullets! I told you I don't know anything about a tunnel. Why do you keep looking over there? Looking over where? Well, I can see you're busy. I'll just get back to saving our lives. Hey, good luck with that. I don't know how Blah Blah and Buzz Buzz found out about my backup tunnel, but they'll never figure out that setting the toaster to incinerate will open it. <laughs> Those cards have peeled open Stinky's mind like a snarky, lazy onion. Incinerate, eh? Yikes! Guess we'll have to do something about those Sam arms. <laughs> Did you see the way that one fell? Hilarious! Must control fudge. Whack. I hope you guys love these as much as I do. What? 
in the name of Betty Crocker's knickers have you been doing to my diner? I have no idea what you're talking about. I've had just about all I can stand, you indolent waste of DNA! Say, you two wouldn't mind holding the fort while we go check out Stinky Secret Passage, would you? Indolent? Who do you think keeps this diner afloat, old man? Great, thanks! I sure hope the Stinkies are able to work out their issues. Not me! Watching them argue is like dinner theater, only without the... Sweet mother of Watson and Crick gallivanting with Rosalind Franklin on a spiral staircase! Max? Yeah? I think we found the source of the Samulacra. Doggle-gangers. Whatever. Sound complete. What the heck is Girl Stinky doing down here? Toys, toys, toys. Toys, toys, toys. That's strange. Hey, little buddy. That sizest, Sam. I wonder who's behind these Samulacrums. Doggle-gangers. You don't think Skunk Ape had anything to do with all these Sams, do you? Well, the whole scantily clad marauders searching for psychic toys thing sure sounds like him. Yeah. But where would he have found the time? I wonder who's behind these Samulacrums. Doggle-gangers. You think Paperweight's got anything to do with these Sams? I don't know. Why don't we ask him? With extreme prejudice. I wonder who's behind these Samulacrums. Doggle-gangers. Even though they came from her secret tunnel, it's hard to believe that Stinky could be behind all these Sams. You don't think she's evil enough? Oh, she's got evil and spades. I just can't picture her going through all the effort. I'm feeling a little lost. Let's find out who's behind all these doggle-gangers. What should we do now? Let's find out who's behind all these doggle-gangers. Okay, I'm st- Let's find out who's behind all these doggle-gangers. Any side effects from your recent debraining and subsequent body napping by a crazed Egyptian tyrant? Nope. Still lovable and teeming with unexplained psychic powers. You know, if late night movies are any indication, your blossoming psychic powers are due to become a threat to all humanity any day now. Don't be such a worrywart, Sam. If it makes you feel any better, I promise to take you with me when I merge with the Godhead. I'm thinking of a number between... Potato! That's uncanny. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into the devil yet, since it's his toy box that keeps getting us into trouble. I bet his agent's holding out for more money. 
What sort of fiend sends an army of half-naked, staggeringly handsome Samalikes out into the city to steal toys? A kinky, bizarro Santa Claus? I hope the cops are okay. Those Sam clones were really tearing into them. Eh, they'll be fine. If decades of obsolescence couldn't kill them, nothing will. Unfortunately. You've got something in your eye. I know. I put it there for safekeeping. I love the way the city looks at night. Yeah, it's a pity we can't go out without being attacked. Keep it real, little bunny. That's not really my forte, Sam. Wow. Hmm. By my reckoning, this cavern is deeper than Sean Penn, but shallower than Bono. I don't know what that is, but it must be important. How can you tell? It's in the middle of the room. Diabolical masterminds always put their important stuff in the middle of the room. I wonder what that glowing hand does. You have what you want. Now give them the air. Is that... a coffee mug? Yes, and unless my rarely utilized razor-sharp senses are wrong, it's full of... herbal tea. Ugh, what kind of laid-back monster sips soothing tea from faraway places while commanding armies of Sam clones? No, Max, look! Bosco Tech Clone Pod. This clone pod was manufactured by Mama Bosco. We probably should have guessed by the hot pants they're wearing. Mama sure does love a nicely turned Sam Gam. If Mama Bosco's the one controlling these clones, she's got a lot of explaining to do. Property of Hoover Dam. The ghost of J. Edgar Hoover is raising an unholy army of sexually provocative Sam clones! Good theory. Wrong Hoover. Clone Cooker DNA Input Receptacle. Whoa! Yikes! Looks like our mysterious clone master doesn't want anyone messing with their cloning recipe. Neat. Unexplained wriggly things. Don't get too close, Max. They may look silly, but those tentacles are oozing with painful eldritch magics. That must be serious. You almost never use magics with a K. Paperweight conjured a bunch of these things back at the museum. He must be involved somehow. Event of a firestorm, the Check it out, Max. Cart tracks. Maybe there's gold at the end of this tunnel, or rare deposits of can't get him. You're a strange little imp, Max. Uh, are we there yet? We've been walking for nearly a decameter. I love your wacky made up units of measurement, Max. I. Wait a minute, there's a light up ahead. Bosco Tech? Shh. Something weird is going on. Weird by our standards or everyone else's? Mr. Molman, please concentrate. Without your assistance, we'll never be able to contact Dr. Mama Bosco. No, we won't. You don't know what you're doing. Harry, you're alive. Don't sound so disappointed. Ah, oh, don't be that way, Harry. You cheated me out of millions of dollars and trapped me in a killer sauna. How should I be? Sadder but wiser? What's with the seance? 
Super Dense over there wants to summon Dr. Bosco back to the lab for questioning, but he doesn't know what he's doing. How so? It's so obvious that he can't make contact with the spirit realms. I mean, he can't even get in touch with my recently deceased relatives. Why don't you tell us about those recently departed relatives? Sorry, Sam. The memories too fresh. Fair enough. How'd you get out of Skunk Ape's ship? I'm glad you asked. My incredible adventure began when I discovered a small crack in the back of my cell. Uh, second thought, never mind. What do you know about these scary toy-stealing Sams? Nothing. You sure you want to stick with that answer? Yeah, isn't that your tunnel that connects directly to the big old cloning facility? That old thing? I haven't been down there in months. After Mama Bosco started using it to store crate loads of high-tech equipment, it kind of lost its rustic charm. Think he's telling the truth? Probably. Harry doesn't have the brains, brawn, or all-around competence to pull off a scheme like this. <clears throat> you know, I am standing right here. What sorts of high-tech equipment was Mama Bosco storing in your hole? How should I know? She never tells me anything. What happened to Mama Bosco? I don't know. When I returned to the lab after my harrowing adventures on Skunkopi's ship, she was acting um, strange. Strange? Yes. She was distracted and wafted about the facility with an agitated nervousness that one would normally associate with a guilty conscience. You got all that from the way she was wafting? Well, that, and she gasped, Oh no, it's all my fault, before she floated out of the building. No one's seen her since. So, you don't know where Mama Bosco is? Not a clue. That's why we're trying to hold a seance, to compel her to return. Hang in there, Harry. Do I have a choice? <laughs> Stupid Super Bowl can't even contact Uncle Morty, and he's only been dead for a week. Super Bowl. Mr. President, you're alive. I'm overjoyed. I can tell. Do you know anything about these Samulacra? Doggleganger's. According to the authorities, they're fanning out across the city in search of the remaining toys of power. Remaining? Yes, sirs. In the aftermath of the Salmon Mock incident, our crypto scientists estimate that there are only a few hundred TOPs extant, and they're scattered throughout the city. What will happen once the Sam clones gather all the toys? Nobody knows. A few experts believe that the person who created the clones will use the fully empowered Devil's Toy Box to psychically bring about a golden age of unity and harmony. That'd be an unexpected twist. But most of them concur that we'll likely be facing some sort of universal Armageddon scenario in which a horrific beast of unimaginable power reigns over the Earth and the living envy the dead. A seance? That's not exactly in your bailiwick now, is it? Okay, I'm just gonna stand right over here until I can shake off the memory of you saying bailiwick. You are sadly correct, sir. As a medium, I'm more of an extra small. But it's desperately important that we make contact with the missing Dr. Mama Bosco. Why? I would think it's obvious, sir. The Sam clones. Her hands are all over them. Ew. Figuratively, sir. Oh, that's better. Are you going to take another shot at summoning Dr. Mama Bosco? Actually, sirs, I was thinking of leaving it to someone who specializes in weirdness. Larry King is here? I think he was talking about us. Oh. What are you doing here? Yeah, why aren't you back at the White House keeping that backstabbing Secretary of Health and Human Services away from my Cuban cigars? I'm here to investigate the rampaging Sam clones and their possible connection to the so-called Devil's Toy Box, sirs. What a coinkydink! So are we! Yes, sirs. Quite the coinkydink. Hey, if you're here and I'm here, who's running the country right now? I've taken the liberty of installing an amusing bobblehead figurine in the Oval Office. No one seems to have noticed. What happened to Mama Bosco? I'm not certain, sirs. I came here to investigate reports of illegal cloning activity, only to find Dr. Mama Bosco missing. 
I'm conducting a seance to bring her in for questioning. Stay loose, Super Bowl. I always do, sirs. Oh, this is rich. You think that you have the spiritual chops to summon Mama Bosco? Hey, Sam's got more spiritualism in his pinky than the love child of the Dalai Lama and Mother Teresa. Actually, I don't think I have a pinky finger, Max. Let's begin, sirs. Ghoulies and imps from a Black Sabbath song. Give us a signal by banging that gong! The spirits have moved on. Sure they have. I knew you couldn't talk to the dead. Better luck next time, sirs. Hey, Max, look. Mama Bosco changed her number. In the last 24 hours? Huh. Being dead must be making her paranoid. I wonder what's down this tunnel. There's only five or six ways to find out! Well, let's take the one that doesn't involve explosives or time travel. Spoil sport. Well, here we are, back in the Museum of Mostly Natural History. And look, Paperweight's office. Maybe he can tell us what's going on with all these Sams. It's a standard security panel, tricked out with hieroglyphics instead of numbers. I wonder what the key code is. Aha! Rats! I thought for sure it would spell out King Butt! I think Monsieur Paperweight's key code is gonna be a little more sophisticated than that, Max. You mean more like Emperor Gluteus Maximus? No, I mean more like something we'll never, ever guess. Ever. It's locked. Yeah, but at least there aren't a bicycle of Eldritch tentacles guarding it anymore. I don't think bicycle is the group word for tentacles, Max. Just a minute! Wait, you fool! Oh, sorry. Oh, it's you. We've got some questions. Dr. Norrington and I could not give three rotten figs for your questions. We've got important work to do. Good day. I said good day, sir. Well, I never. Hmm, a trash can. My psychic clue sense is tingling. You know I can't stand looking at you when you dig through garbage. No time to indulge your delicate sensibilities, Sam. Look! What is it? Hey, 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 I just find the clues. And besides, I seem to have temporarily lost my ability to read. A disturbing side effect of your psychic abilities? Nah, I just can't be bothered. It's a letter from our old pal Sal, resigning from his job at the museum. Should a six-foot-tall cockroach really be putting himself out on the job market in this economy? Maybe we should ask him. He left a forwarding number. Sweet!
Oh, what now? Get rid of them! You again? If we could just... We gotta get in there, Sam! Why? I mean, other than the generic amusement of antagonizing people. I think Monsieur Paperweight's mysterious boss, Dr. Norrington, is in there. And? And I need to thank him for helping me out against Sam and Mac. Let's see. Foot, snake, squiggle, squiggle, bird, done! We probably should have guessed that one. Still remember the code? I'll have you know I've got a mind like a steel tramp. Trap? Really? Huh. A steel tramp would be a lot more fun in a bum fight. Ha! Ah! Don't look at me! Oh, come on. You're not that ugly. You don't understand? Human minds aren't equipped to comprehend! Hey, Sam, there's a guy in here! No! no! I'm impressed. Most humans are driven incurably insane by the mere glimpse of my unspeakable visage. Yeah, well, no offense, but we get more unspeakable visages in our convention swag. So you're the mysterious Dr. Norrington? I am known by many names. Among them, Yog Sagoth, Elder Fiend of the Dark Dimension. Oh, I'm so surprised! Shocking, true, but not nearly as shocking as the horrific truths I suspect I must now reveal. What do you have to say about all those creepy tentacles we found in the cloning chamber? Tentacles? Yeah, like the ones your boy Paperweight summoned in the museum last night. Cthulhu's wattle! Ooh, I'm using that. Only one such as myself can summon the cilia of torment. Whoever's controlling your clones must be awash in the forces of the Dark Dimension. Did you really just say awash? The only thing that can properly vanquish matter from the Dark Dimension is... The Chthonic Destroyer! What's the Chthonic Destroyer? Is it pointy? The Chthonic Destroyer is the ultimate psychic toy. A weapon so terrible that it was once used to drive the Elder Gods themselves back to their home in the Dark Dimension. Ah, oh, look. That Mole Man is smiting an army. Mind if we hold on to this? Sam's got a thing for illuminated manuscripts. If it will help you find the Chthonic Destroyer... Yes, of course. Thanks. I'll try to keep Max from drawing dirty pictures in the margins. Can the Destroyer be used against those tentacles? The Destroyer is proof against anything from the Dark Dimension. Me, the tentacles, the toy box... Sam, we gotta get one of these things! You'll have to find the hidden giggling realm of skittering ingestion if you wish to find the Destroyer. Your Yog sagoth the world-shattering Elder God? You look like something my non-existent cat coughed up. Curb your tongue, rabbit! No, no, Paperweight, the Naked One is right. This debased form is a pathetic shadow of my former glory. Long before the dawn of man, my kind was sovereign over this dimension and countless others. We welcomed the development of sentient life, drinking hey, deeply me. from your bottomless wellsprings of terror, and also your succulent hairy flesh. Ew. For untold eons, we lapped at the perpetual buffet of your horror and worship until powerful forces rallied to drive us back to the Dark Dimension. Forces? Primitive hybrids somehow impervious to our powers. You know them as Mole Men. Get out of here! Yes, that's exactly what they ordered us to do. You know, it's a lot harder to take you prehistoric Elder Gods seriously, now that I know you were banished by a bunch of Mole Men. Scoff if you must, but the mole people were much more powerful before they were genetically marginalized by the cruel twists of evolution. Just like Uncle Billy. So, should I call you Yog sagoth or Norrington? Call me Dr. Norrington. When uttered by your mortal tongues, my true name sounds disturbingly like our term for number two. You should hear him say nuclear. I didn't see Sal out there. 
Ah, yes, poor Sal. He resigned after the incident with General Schoonkape's men. Any idea where he is now? I'm sure he left a forwarding number in his resignation letter, but I'm afraid I've lost track of it. I have a lot on my table right now. You sure you don't know where Sal is? No, but you're welcome to have a look around. You and Paperwave seem to know a lot about that Devil's Toy Box that everybody keeps stealing. The Devil's Toy Box. Ha! You should be so lucky. What are you talking about? The Toy Box is of a power far greater than that of your primitive gods and devils. It is the property of my grandson, Junior. Junior? Yes, Junior. The youngest and most horrible of the Elder Gods. His birthing whale shattered the supercontinent of Pangaea. His first steps sunk the proto-civilizations of Subarctica. Junior? In an effort to stop my rampaging grandchild from destroying the Omniverse, I brought many of my precious childhood keepsakes over from the Dark Dimension to keep Junior distracted and entertained, as well as a box to contain their frightening power. Junior? Unfortunately, when the Elder Gods were banished to the Dark Dimension, Junior's toy box was lost during the move, and in the millennia since, he just will not stop whining about it! Junior? It's a lot scarier if you've got the requisite complement of larynxes to pronounce it correctly. So why have the one and a half of you been trying to get your hands on the toy box all these years? To destroy it! But why? It's got all those cool toys that make my brain tingle and my ears all fuzzy! The toys of power were never meant for mortal hands. For the sake of all that exists, they must be returned to the toy box and annihilated. You're not gonna take my toys, are you? Not yet. Your chaotic mastery of the toys of power may yet prove useful in defeating the master of these blasphemous portly canines. So how did gigantic behemoth of an elder god like you get stuck in panty waste waste anyway? Papier wait! Silence! Several decades ago, Monsieur Paperweight foolishly attempted to summon me to this plane of existence. Um, yeah, we, uh, may have heard something about that. Paperweight's infantile conjurings were doomed to failure, but the uncanny power of your grandsire's brain somehow managed to extrude an infinitesimally tiny fraction of my essence into this dimension. It became fused with Paperweight's unsettlingly hairless and ladylike torso. We've spent the better part of a century trying to retrieve the toy box and send the great Yogg-Sogoth home. And we would have succeeded last night if you hadn't lost your temper over that slobbering space ape. Sorry about that. Do you know anything about all these handsome brutes that are stealing toys throughout the city? The clones are meaningless. And chubby. Hey. But if they are truly stealing toys, then their master may be attempting to gather a complete collection of the toys of power. Collect all 1,024. Impress your friends. And destroy the entirety of existence as we know it. You've already borne witness to the damage that can be wrought when the devil's toy box is mostly full. If the box is completely engorged, its power will tear down the walls of reality itself. So, aside from tearing apart reality, anything else you think we should know about the Plague of Me? Only that they should seriously consider a gym membership. Stay put. We'll probably have more questions later. Your kind always does. Hey, Max, could you spare a few seconds to memorize Paperweight's phone number? Okay, but my brain's getting awfully full. I might lose a few chapters of my poignant Inuit coming-of-age novel. The trials of Kenelik the Awkward will have to wait for another day, little buddy. Talk! 
grandfather, will you please tell this booze-soaked gumshoe to get out of our diner? Just answer the man's questions so I can get on with my pathetic excuse for a life. Hey, Flint, what's shaking? Hiya, boys. Just putting the finishing touches on this whole girl stinky caper. Really? Well, no. But Grandpa Stinky's gonna stop paying me if I don't wrap this case up tonight. So I'm kind of winging it here. I've had you on retainer for months, and you didn't even know she'd installed nay one, but two secret tunnels under my diner! Mind if we kibitz in your interrogation? Be my guest, boys. I'm hitting a brick wall with Miss Motormouth here. See? Now, where were we? Oh, yeah! Who's this Mr. S-Mug? And what are the two of you planning to do to Grandpa Stinky? That kind of talk makes Mr. Shooty angry, sister. Um, Stinky didn't say anything, Sam. See what I'm working with here? Maybe she doesn't know how these hard-boiled interrogations are supposed to work. I think you're right, Max. Let's show her how it's done. I'll be Flint, and you'll be Stinky. Fine, but if I get typecast, you're getting a nasty call from my agent. All right, sister. What's the deal with all your secret tunnels? Secret tunnels? <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't give me none of that guff, you dizzy dame. Ooh, nice one. I, I mean, all right, all right. I'll tell you all about the cloning facility at the end of my secret tunnel. Cloning facility? What are you talking about? No, 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 that's his line! Come on, Stinky. Don't pretend you don't know anything about the massive sand cooking machines we found at the end of your secret tunnel. Get out of my way! Not so fast, Dollface. You're not going anywhere until you answer some questions. Fine. Fire away. Anything to get me out of this madhouse. Okay, then. From the top. Who's this Mr. S-Mug? And what are the two of you planning to do to Grandpa Stinky? Mr. S is Sam. We were planning Grandpa Stinky's surprise birthday party. Say hello to Professor Bang Bang with the doctor in it. Wait, what? You heard me. Mr. S is Sam. The two of us were planning Grandpa Stinky's surprise birthday party. Uh... You lousy liar! My birthday isn't for another five months! That's why it was going to be such a surprise! Is this true, Sam? Uh, it, it sure is. She'd already ordered your favorite cake. I did? Oh, I mean, that's right, I did! A cake, eh? Well, I'll tell you what. If you and Sam can cough up my favorite cake, I'll send Mr. Paper home. Until then, you're not going anywhere, granddaughter. I can't believe you and Stinky were planning a party and you didn't ask me to help. I love licking envelopes and cooking up embarrassing party games. Don't be a dolt, Max. This whole party thing is just another brick in Stinky's mountain of lies. But if we cover for her, maybe Flint will let her go, and she can lead us to her mysterious Mr. S and the mastermind behind these rakishly handsome Sam clones. Sounds convoluted and absurd. I like it. All we have to do now is find Grandpa Stinky's favorite cake. Stinky? Yes. Where and when can we pick up that cake for the party? Um, Sal said he'd have it done by today. Do you remember where we put that present for Grandpa Stinky? I thought you said you were hiding it someplace where no one but you could find it. I did. I mean, yeah, that's right. Hang in there, Stinky. We'll have you out of this jam in no time. I wouldn't be in this jam if you two hadn't butted in on my perfectly good lie. Grandpa? Don't you have an alleged birthday party to tend to? Yeah, about that. How goes the siege? I'm just picking off a few of the stragglers now. <laughs> Thought you could get away, did you?
Why do you think we're lying about your party? Yeah, it's gonna be bitchin'. Because that stain on the stinky name has never done a kind thing for me in her entire life. You're really gonna love the birthday cake we made. I'll believe it when I see it. The ingredients for my favorite cake are so rare that I haven't eaten a bite of it in years. Well, we're off to plan your party. Don't go anywhere. I'll get my fancy tuxedo ready. <laughs> a party? <laughs> a likely story. Still, it'd be nice to get a slice of upside down Uzbekian blood cake surprise. Well, there's Sal. And a bunch of doppelgangers. Let those Sam show more respect for our car than we do. Well, that was awfully convenient. Sam? Hey, look, Max. It's our old friend, Charlie Hotep. Get it away! Get it away! Come on, Max. He'll give you cool ventriloquism powers, just like your great-grandpa Maximus had in olden times. Fine. I'll do it for the powers. But for the record, I want to make it clear that I find Charlie Hotep, like all ventriloquist dummies, completely creepy and disgusting. So are you. But you don't see me getting skittish about it. Toys? Toys? Toys! Uh, shoot or run? Let's run. Toys! 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 Yikes. Toys! Well, that was a harrowing chase down the clown-infested streets of the city. And the clowns were pretty bad, too. At least we finally lost them. It's me, Max. I'm in this warehouse with all sorts of juicy psychic toys. 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 Hey, it's our noisy old friend Bluster Blaster. More like a barely tolerated acquaintance. You look like chum, old chum. Sam! Max! What are you doing in Vegas? Oh, boy. What happened to you? Yeah, we thought you were in Vegas helping Bosco count cards and pick up showgirls. Maximum failure! Why? Counting cards out loud! Yeah, the dealers tend to notice things like that. Need any help? No, thank you! I'll just sit here until my shields regenerate! Do you think you'll rejoin the cops now that your Vegas adventure is over? That portion of my life is terminated! Do you know what happened to Bosco? Bosco stayed in Vegas to pay off debt to Casino! Cleaning tables? Mail stripper! Ew. Interesting. Left letter to give to Mama! Dear Mama, guess what? 
I met a girl, so it looks like I'll be staying in Vegas a little bit longer than originally planned. Please take care of the store while I'm away. Love, Bosco. P.S. Could you wire me about $20,000? Worst Bosco impression ever! Mind if we deliver this to Mama Bosco? Take it! I never want anything to do with Bosco ever again! Say, you wouldn't happen to know anything about all these Sam clones running around, would you? Those are real? Yeah. Holy Mother of God! I think that's a no. See ya, Bluster. I have become death! Sal! Sam and Max, what brings you guys down to the warehouse district? All the usual. Mystery, intrigue. The roar of the grease paint. The smell of the crowd. How are you coping with all these Sam clones? Is that what they are? I thought they might be some of your skinnier, less inhibited cousins from over in the village. So my clones haven't been hassling you? A little, but I don't seem to have whatever it is they're looking for. So you gave up your cushy job at the museum for this? You bet. That museum gig was getting dangerous. What with all the fires, the slimy tentacles, and the gorilla pummelings. I'm just not cut out for a life of excitement like that. What exactly are you doing out here anyway? Oh, I've got a great job stacking crates. Doesn't pay much, but it's way less violent. At least it was until those guys came along. What's in those crates? Beats me. As long as there's nothing in these babies that keep me from stacking them, I could give a June bug's behind about what's in them, you know? Hey, Sal, you're a pretty mean chef, right? I know my way around a lemon zester, yeah. What about it? We really need someone to bake a birthday cake pronto. Sure, I could probably take a break and whip one up. What kind of cake you guys looking for? A new Becky and upside down blood cake surprise? Ooh, that's gonna be a tall order, Sam. Don't you know how to make it? Oh, I know how to make it, all right. Any confectioner worth his icing sack knows how to make that bad boy. It's just that the ingredients are really hard to come by. Don't worry about that. Sam and I live to hunt down obscure ingredients or similarly named alternatives. It's not just the ingredients, though. It literally takes a month to bake an Uzbeki and upside-down blood cake surprise. If you want it tonight, you're just S.O.L. Sorry. Well, can you at least tell us what it looks like in case we run into it in a dark alley someplace? I could do better than that. I'll draw you a picture. Voila! Impressive! I minored in chalk drawing at the Bilderberg Academy for the Culinary and Visual Arts. Stack on, good buddy. You know it, Sam. I really like Sal, Sam. It'd be a shame if he got sucked into the undertow of the mayhem and destruction that follows us around like an awestruck teenager. What the hell are you talking about, Max? Sal's drawing of Grandpa Stinky's treasured Ukrainian upside-down surprise cake is amazingly lifelike. This'll be as easy as taking cake from a baby. I think that's candy. Again? You're lucky I got nothing better to do tonight. Yeah, yeah, since your social calendar is usually so packed with nightclubs and supermodels. Very cutting, sir. Shall we begin?
Oh, tough room. Let's try another one. Float like a liquored-up chimpanzee. Spirits come out wherever you be! Harry Moman! What? The spirits wish to speak to you. Oh, do they? And who, pray tell, wants to talk to me? Your Uncle Morty! Uncle Morty? Is it you? Talk to me, Uncle Morty! Talk to me! Yes, your Uncle Morty. He has something important to say. Mortimer Moleman, your nephew is waiting. He needs a friend now since he's no good at dating. <laughs> Harry! Uncle Morty? Yes, it's your Uncle Morty! You sound... weird. I've got a cold! <laughs> in heaven? Who said I was in heaven? If it's really you, then tell me the secret you kept from me all these years. Um, let me think about it. Mortimer Moleman, your nephew is waiting. He needs a friend now since he's no good at... Come on, Morty, come on. Tell me where you hid your stamp collection. Morty, Morty, oxen free. Harry! Uncle Morty? My stamp collection is hidden. Yes? In the attic. Yes? Of the Statue of Liberty! I knew it! It's a miracle! Thank you, Uncle Morty! Thank you, Max! It appears that Mr. Moleman's leap of faith has allowed the POTUS to make contact with our target, sirs. Yes! Thanks for the rescue, boys. Mama Bosco, what happened to you? I don't know. I was looking into all these rampaging Sam clones when all of a sudden my spirit started pinballing through all sorts of nightmarish heck dimensions. If your seance hadn't anchored me to this plane of existence, I might never have found my way home. Oh dear. It seems that the boundaries between realities are decaying. I'd best alert my superiors. Hey, I thought I was your superior. Of course you are, sir. And I uh, need to tell my girlfriend in uh, Winnipeg. Way to clear a room, Mama B. Good. Now maybe we can get to the bottom of this mess. Mm, mm, mm. Those shorts sure don't leave anything to the imagination, do they? Hey, Dr. Mama Bosco, can we ask you a few questions? Can it wait? I'm very busy trying to figure out where all these Sams came from. It'll only take a minute. Fine. Got any ideas on how to stop the clones? Um, no. Not really. Max and I were taking a closer look at those underground cloning tanks. Yes? And they've got Bosco Tech written all over them. That's horrible. Someone must have snuck into my lab and stolen all my cloning equipment. Who do you think broke into your lab to steal all your cloning equipment? Well, whoever wanted an army of Sam clones, obviously. Well, duh, Sam. Any word from your son since he headed off for Vegas? No, but knowing him, he's probably being scammed by some two-bit gold digger.
What are you doing? Same as you two. I'm trying to find out who's behind all these clones. If anyone ever finds out I was hired to build those clone tanks, I'm done for. Mama B? Yes? Give it up, Mama Boshko. We know someone paid you to build those cloning tanks. Who was it? Stinky? Paperweight? Professor Plum? I... I... I don't know! All I know is, a few months ago, an anonymous donor wired me a bajillion bucks in exchange for a few hundred of my experimental cloning tanks. I knew it was shady, but times are tough for a single dead mother with a money-hemorrhaging research lab. So I took the gig and looked the other way. Another victory for unregulated capitalism! This anonymous donor. Anything you can tell us about him? Turn-offs, turn-ons, the last four digits of his social security number? We only spoke over the phone. He had a creepy, high-pitched voice. Sam, you don't think it could be the soda? Don't even think it, little buddy. Anything else you can remember about the mastermind who bought all those clone tanks? Aside from the squeaky voice, no. Oh, and he paid me in cash. Really old cash. Now that we've established that the clones came out of your machines, is there any way we can shut them down? Well, there should be a biometric override built into all of my clone control centers, but... Oh, I hate the sound of your butts. But my handprint is the only one that can activate the override. But without a body, you don't have handprints. Or the right to vote! About that override... Mm-hmm? If we could clone a body for you, could you activate the biometric control? That's... Uh, bug-loving insane? Absolutely brilliant! Of course, it'll have to be a perfect clone with 100% of my DNA. No problem. Um, got any lying around? Only this. As far as I know, this is the only remaining sample of my DNA in the world. And even this is only 99% complete. You'll either have to find some more or get some DNA from one of my family members so I can do a splice job. No problem. Consider yourself cloned. Say, would some of your son's DNA work to fill in the gaps in your DNA sample? Sure. Good luck finding any, though. So all we have to do is plunk your DNA sample into your clone cooker and bingo bango, brand new Dr. Mama Bosco body, right? No. First, you have to find some more Bosco DNA to fill in the gaps in the sample. Hey, Dr. Mama, we got some mail from Baby Bosco. Really? Hold it up for me so I can read it. Hmm? Hmm. Twenty thousand dollars? Roscoe Bosco, what sort of hustle have you gotten yourself into? Hey, this letter's practically swimming in Bosco's saliva. Could it be used to fill out your missing DNA? That might work. Yeah, sure, give it a shot. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I love it when scientists say that! Hey, Dr. Mama, could this dimensional destabilizer be used to, say, visit a spooky suburb of the Dark Dimension to get a horrifyingly powerful weapon? I suppose. Want to give it a whirl? Sure. Now, I haven't had a chance to calibrate the navigational controls, so you'll have to figure them out for yourself. Don't we always? Is 
it's a page from an illuminated manuscript detailing an incident with something called the Destroyer. And lo, did Brother Acidophilus return in a flash of light from the giggling realm of skittering ingestion, armed with the Chthonic Destroyer. Though giggling and plagued with visions of skittering insects, noble Acidophilus smote the beasties from the dark dimension with the Destroyer. His enemies laid low. Acidophilus returned the Destroyer to the gibbering realm and resumed his peaceful life of molitude. Years later, he was eaten by a crazed beast. That is the worst story I've ever heard. I don't think they'd invented the three-act structure back then, Max. Wish me luck, Max. I'm off to explore the Nether Realms. You should probably rephrase that. Ooh, sciency! You! <laughs> Sam? <laughs> Holy wheezing! You okay? Yeah, but only because I've sealed away most of what I saw into a deep corner of my subconscious. Just like that time you caught me singing in the shower. Let's see. Flash of light, blah, blah, blah. Giggling realm of skittering ingestion. Giggling and beset by visions of insects. Destroyer defeats things from the dark dimension. Later eaten by a beast. Let's try this again. Ow! Turn down the volume! <laughs> Whoa! And I'm back. If we ever want to find that Chthonic Destroyer in the Illuminated Manuscript, By any visions of <laughs> if I'm gonna keep I wonder Let's see, flash of light, blah blah blah, giggling realm of skittering ingestion, giggling and beset by visions of insects, destroyer defeats things from the dark dimension, later eaten by a beast. I think I prefer that reading better. I don't know what that is, but it's not laughing. Okay, that one was just plain weird. <sighs> it's so hard to do science without a body. You! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Sam, any chance you feel like you're gonna be eaten by a- <laughs> Sam, beset by invasions of insects and or arachnids? Ah! Bugs! Roaches! They're under my skin! Get them off! I can't believe Mama Bosco created a thousand Sam clones, but not one! It's a page from an... Let's see. Flash of light, blah, blah, blah. Giggling realm of skittering ingestion. Giggling and beset by visions of insects. Destroyer defeats things from the dark dimension. Leader eaten by a beast. <laughs> Sam, any chance you feel like you're gonna be eaten by a beast in the future? <laughs> 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 Sam, any chance you feel like you're gonna be eaten by a beast in the future? <laughs> Sam, any chance you feel like you're gonna be eaten? Those monks sure knew how to illuminate a manuscript. Hey, you! Sam, any chance you feel like you're gonna be eaten by a beast in the future? Hey, you! Sam, any chance you feel like you're gonna be eaten by a beast in the future? Sam, any chance you feel like you're gonna be eaten by a beast in the future? <laughs> hey, you! <laughs> Sam, any chance you feel like you're gonna be eaten by a beast in the future? Bugs, roach. <laughs> Sam, any chance you feel like you're gonna be eaten by a beast in the future? <laughs> Sam?
Sam's been driven insane by an unspeakable horror. <laughs> Oh yeah, and check out this keen knickknack I picked up from the giggling realm of skittering ingestion. Is that the dark dimensional destroyer that Norrington was yammering about? Only one way to find out. Let's blast the bejeebus out of something from the dark dimension. Happy birthday, Grandpa Stinky! Is that one upside down Uzbekian blood cake surprise? The blood looks right, but let's see if it's got the surprise. Uh, an Uzbekian flensing knife! The secret ingredient the Mongols used in all their cakes! Now do you believe me? The tasty cake. <laughs> This beautiful knife! You two really were planning my birthday party, weren't you? Ooh, I've got to go try this puppy out on some doggies! Alright, you furry trespassers! Make way for Daddy! There's only one thing I don't understand. Why does Sam call you my queen in his letter? Well, because Sam and I have been carrying on a torrid love affair for years. Is that right, hon? Uh... Meet me at the place. No, the other place. I don't know what kind of game you're playing here, Sam. But now that I've seen you and Stinky smooching, all I really want to do is climb into a bottle and wipe out a few brain cells. Oh, Sam, that whole stinky kissing thing kind of made me wish for the sweet release of death, too. I know, little buddy, but it'll be worth it if we can track Stinky to the real Mr. S who's controlling all these Sam clones. Do you still remember Stinky's cell phone number? Do I? It spells out my second favorite bodily excretion. Mr. S. Stinky, my queen. I would have gotten here sooner, but the old fool and his Seamus wouldn't let me leave. We've got to get rid of them once and for all. Do we have to? Killing seems so... deadly. Trust me, sweetie. It's the only way to get everything we want. Oh, baby. Okay, that's quite enough of that. It's Droopy and Stitch. Sam and Max. What are you doing down here? We were about to ask you the same question. We were? I was going to ask about biological compatibility issues. All right, fine. There's no point in denying it any longer. This is where Sal and I meet to revel in our forbidden love. Yeah, the forbidden love thing. Not where we meet to discuss getting rid of our evil grandpa stick. <laughs> ah! Right, just the forbidden love. Really? Then how do you explain that? Whoa. Where'd those come from? Sultan, think of it. Bazaar of Estornam. Yes, master. master. Sam, what just happened? Well, on the upside, it looks like neither Stinky nor her chitinous boyfriend are the master of these Samalikes. On the downside, it appears that our icky and potentially murderous lubberbirds are under the psychic thrall of our mysterious fiend. Man, I wouldn't want to be the master when Stinky snaps out of it. She straight up hates thralls. Whee! I hope that Norrington's Chthonic Destroyer works on these things. No, 
bombing tanks operating at 98.9% .9 efficiency. Good for you. Destroyer. Hey, tentacles! Unholy this! I am the current power robot. Please give my destruction to everybody. Unholy this? I heard it in a video game. to commence cloning process. Please insert complementary DNA sample to continue. Complementary DNA sample received. Exemplar clone being prepared in part 0001. Come on, come on! Patience, Max. The human genome is an insanely complicated strand of proteins containing nearly a gigabyte of raw data. Even the most sophisticated computers in the world would take weeks. Clone complete. You did it! Yeah! <laughs> Clear a path, boys. Mama Bosco's about to make a long overdue return to the land of the living. All right, fellas, open her up. Well, what do you think? Considering how much of your son's DNA is in there, I'd say you got off easy. Yeah, you could have ended up with a beard, or a beer gut, or a head full of wacky conspiracy theories. Rotom Seodome! Hmm, that platform looks like a target-rich environment. Now what should I shoot first? Why'd you do that? Sometimes you just gotta shoot out a few lights. Dead light bulb detected in clone control spotlight. Please alert maintenance engineer. Show off. Now, Max, just because the good Lord didn't bless you with six arms and vice-like claws... Not yet, anyway. Hey, Max, watch this. Nice shot! Thanks. It turns out the secret is aiming. Aiming. Hmm. Never heard of it. Is it a lost secret of the ancient Orient? Malfunction detected in clone control console unit. Please send technician. That's the most work I've seen Stinky do in years. Yeah, she must be enthralled. Hey, Mama Bee. 
Want to be disassembled at the quantum level, then reassembled about 40 meters to the left? You know it, baby! You! But how? You haven't figured it out yet? Wow, for a mastermind, you sure are clueless. Oh, it matters not. Neither you nor your unwitting pawn of a scientist will be able to stop the master from achieving his dread goals. <laughs> What's her problem? We're pretty sure she's enthralled, but with Stinky it's hard to tell. Mama Bosco, would you mind activating your override so we can take control of these clones? My pleasure. Fools! You'll never defeat the Master! Sam, we've got company! You see? <laughs> your cause is lost! The Master will take your toys and... Sorry, I haven't been able to cold cock anyone for a long time, and she was really getting on my nerves. After the mind-numbing terror is over, you gotta teach me that move. And me. But first, let's deal with these clones. All right, clones, stop! They've stopped! Great, but we're still not any closer to finding the Master. Go to the Master! That didn't work, Sam! Weird. Maybe I have to use the Master's real name. Whatever that is. Get down with your bad selves! Hey, Sam! They've got your moves! How d deeply depressing. Go to the toy box! That seems to have gotten their attention. I guess it's time to play follow the clones. You guys go on ahead and give that master a knee to the groin for me. Getting dog hair all up in my cloning tanks. Whew. Once this case is over, we should really look into fixing the DeSoto. Sam, all your doggle gangers are heading into that warehouse, and my ears are doing that weird sparky thing. The toy box must be in there. We'd better sneak in and grab it before the master's plan comes to fruition. You know, I can't remember the last time one of my plans came to fruition. It's cute when you pretend you know what words mean, Max. Sam? Stand back, Sam! I'll send those doggle-gangers right into the harbor! I don't think so! Who said that? Hello, folks. <laughs> what was that?! Unless I miss my guess, the mysterious master is none other than your little dark-dimensional puppet! I knew it was evil! Well, thankfully, like all evil dummies, Charlie's pretty much helpless without a host body. Am I, Sam? Am I? Samar, Cesorum! Kill it with fire, Max! On it! Darn. Yank the cord! Yank the cord! Oh, Sam! Oh, I just had the most ridiculous dream! 
Stinky was making out with a giant cockroach. Then an evil ventriloquist dummy knocked us out and... Hello, boys and girls! Welcome to the Charlie Hotep Show! Oh, that's way more naked Sam flesh than I'm comfortable with. We got a great show for you tonight, ladies and germs. For our first act, our lovely and talented army of doggle gangers will sing and dance their way into your souls with their dimension shattering rendition of that oldie but goodie. Mmm, patask! And for our second act, well, there won't really be a second act for most of you, since you'll be too busy screaming and gouging your eyes out after your pathetic reality is subsumed by the glories of the dark dimension. But you won't want to miss our spectacular finale when the great and terrible Junior makes his long-awaited return. Lovingly slips me onto one of his tentacles of anguish and plays with me. Not if my as-yet-unexplained psychic powers have anything to... Hey, where'd my toys go? Looking for these? Let's have a big Dark Dimension round of applause for Sam and Max, without whom tonight's apocalyptic conjuring wouldn't be possible. I feel so violated. And now, on with the show! Hang on, Sam! I'm coming to get you! Hang on, Sam! I'm coming to get you! Try not to end the world or anything! Oh, so beautiful. Mm. What's this? My enthralled man puppy has something to say. <laughs> what do you say, boys and girls? Do you want to see my amazing talking to a stupid mutt while playing the piano and ushering in the end of the world trick? Yes! All righty then. For so, buddy, what's on your mind? Why have you dragged poor paperweight slash Norrington slash Yogg Sagoth up here? Grumpy old fool thought he could destroy me along with all the other toys of power. <laughs> now he'll bear witness to my ultimate triumph as I sacrifice him to his own grandson! And I thought my family reunions were awkward. I think you and Norrington should have a nice little sit-down. Never! I swear, ere this night doth wane, Young Sagoth will drink the black splinters of my vengeance! that I'm not flattered. But why did you go through all the trouble to make an army of half-naked Sam clones? A spell of this magnitude requires the sacrifice of a thousand and one thralls to complete the complex and arcane chance to tear down the walls between this world and the Dark Dimension. Yeah, but why me? Because you are the ideal straight man. Only you have the perfectly malleable brain that allows me to command you where to go and what to do without fear of being challenged by a stray independent thought. It's almost as though you were born to be ordered around. He's got you there, Sam! Okay, I understand why you wanted me for your silly ceremony, but why the gold biker shorts? And why did you have to make my clothes so fat? Oh. Items my chubby little clones make the poor little doggy man uncomfortable about his body issues. Well... God! You want to talk about uncomfortable body issues? Try spending a gazillion years with nasty little mortals sticking their grubby hands into a giant orifice in your back. At least Junior always has the common decency to wash his tentacle first. 
sense the world's about to end, could you tell me what's going on with Sal and Stinky? You enthralled them before we could break out the rubber hoses. The fishwoman and the insect man were mere pawns. Their petty criminal dalliance is a pathetic warm-up back to my grand guignol! In other words... Not a clue. You sure you don't know anything about Stinky and Sal's plans for Grandpa Stinky? Hey, I just enthralled them to assemble and maintain my cloning chamber. I didn't get involved in their icky personal life. What in the name of Kubrick's beard groomer is that unholy abomination? That's Junior! Youngest of the Elder Gods. When the walls tumble, he'll reign supreme over the darkness. And I'll be his favorite toy again, just like it was in the before time. Ha! Junior hated you, Charlie. He used to call you Creepy Charlie. You want Creepy? I'll give you a creepy old man! I am the Sonic Powered Robot. Please give my destruction to everybody. Nicely done, Sam. If you want to change the music again, just gesture in the general direction of the piano, and I'll do the rest. Mm. You pathetic fool! Junior never played with you. He hated you. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Junior. Charlie knows nothing about Junior. Nothing! Had enough, old man? Elder dorks! You think you're winning? Every time you change the music, you bring your world one step closer to annihilation! <laughs> Junior hated you, Charlie. He used to call you Creepy Charlie. Had <laughs> enough, old man? Oh, oh, taps. Try a different piece of music the next time? Sorry. Junior. Had enough, old man? Mm. Ha! 
Junior hated you, Charlie. He used to call you creepy. Ch If you're too... where you belong, Charlie. You'll never be Junior's favorite. Looks like the crowds had just about enough of your guff pops. What do you say, everyone? Die! 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 You heard him, Krusty. I am the flying power robot. Please give my destruction to everybody. Ah! Let's all give a big hand for Yogg-Sagoth's death scene. Everyone? Yeah! Well, it looks like everything's about to go kablooey. So if you'll excuse me, I'll just ascend into the firmament and get ready to meet the end of the world. Yeah! <laughs> that didn't go well. What are we gonna do now, Sam? Without my cool psychic toys, I'm as useless as a sprinkler in a squid farm. <coughs> useless? I think not. Dr. Norrington? <laughs> Max, listen. The power is within you. Sam, what's happening? I think Norrington's just unlocked your total psychic potential. Cool. Either that or your head's about to explode. Either way, you should probably aim for the dummy. Will do. Godspeed, John Glenn. Your face. Let's finish this thing! Braino El Braino! Yippee! A fight! Oh, great. Now I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head all night. Images from the mines around you. Use them to defeat Charlie Hotep. No problemo. Ha! Do you think you can beat yourself? Wait, wait, wait. Let, let me rephrase that. What a poltroon. You think I wouldn't have planned for that? Poor Bob, the destroyer. I am the Chronic Power Robot! Please fight me! Ouch! Junior despised you, Charlie! I am the Chronic Power Robot! Please shut up and die! Ah, donkey ears. Close your eyes, Max! Why? This is really cool! Hey, you're right! Junior! Don't put me back in the box! I love you! Ah, jeez, Charlie, have a little dignity. Why won't you play?
a job, Max! Max? Just a minute, Sam. Uh, I, uh... Max! Little buddy? No! No! What? I, I thought we were doing a thing here. Max, you're alive! Yep, that icky demon seed must have broken my fall. What ridiculous luck. Says you, I think I swallowed some of that dark dimensional demon yolk. <laughs> Did it taste like chicken? No, 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 it was more like, uh... The succulent torments of the damned! Not funny, Max. I wasn't trying to be funny. If I was, I'd say something like, How do you keep an idiot in... <laughs> Oh, I don't feel so good, Sam. Hang on, little buddy. I'll go get you some soda crackers and lukewarm pork. This is so cool! <laughs> Dr. Norrington, you gotta help me with Max. He... Holy HP Lovecraft spinning through the 13 abyssal planes on a propane grill! Congratulations, my friend. Thanks to your valiant efforts, Sam and Max have eliminated the scourge of the Devil's Toy Box once and for all. But at what cost? Well, this is new. When next we meet, the fate of Sam, Max, reality, and perhaps your very sanity will rest in your trembling hands in the concluding chapter of The Devil's Playhouse. Sal? Sal? Sal?